Annunciation. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Luke 1, 28-29 It's all over. Everything will change, most of all you. And maybe that's a welcome change. Maybe you're thinking, God, I could use a change. And maybe you're ready for such a transformation. But the rub of Annunciation is that it's a transformation you're not in charge of. We all have areas where we would love transformation. Maybe for you it's your relationship with your in-laws, your finances, your dead-end job and the annoying micromanaging boss, or your unceasing anxiety. But it seems that Revelation doesn't transform the places you want transformation. It transforms all the things you dreamed and planned for your best case scenario. It's not so hard to see that Mary's transformation could look a lot like ours. How your life would be, whom you would marry, what your wedding would look like, your first kid's name, how people would think about you and your family in the community where you live, how your kids' lives would turn out. We call these your best laid plans. Revelation is a hard gift to receive. You must give up everything else to receive it, like finding a treasure in a field and selling everything you have to obtain that treasure. But then again, She who is willing to accept the cost of revelation finds herself in the deepest of stories. Stories that are so mysterious, divine, and human that we still tell them today. May you receive the light of divine annunciation in the flames of your best laid plans.